up, you guys? What's up? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What is up, you guys? Oh my god. Hi. I'm Lauren Gray, and with 90 million followers, it's safe to say social media is my world. But now I'm struggling to balance the pressure of getting likes with a life that's meaningful. Back in school, I was a bit of an outcast. I got on social media to express myself and connect with people. Now I have a jewelry line, I'm making music, and I just bought my first house where I live with my boyfriend Kyle and my best friend Brooke. Now that I'm 18, I'm at this turning point where I'm no longer a kid. I'm starting to wonder, am I missing out on a normal life? I'm just trying to figure it all out, honestly. I feel like I'm a typical teenager in the ways that I make my bed in the morning. I'm in college. I have a good relationship with my family. Hello? Can you just wake up? Mm-hmm. In what ways am I not normal? Things that teenagers are worried about, I'm worried about that plus everything else. I'll call you in a little bit. I'm gonna go get ready because I have to make videos because right, it's already getting fun. late. Oh yeah, the hair drawer. I actually really hate wearing extensions, but I branded myself with long hair, so now I just have to have long hair. If I start getting irritable, just know. Lauren has her weave in. I do have insecurities. I think all women feel pressure regardless of if you're an influencer or not. I do the exact things that I tell people not to do. I'm like, don't compare yourself to people on the internet. Photos are retouched and people have work done. But I do that. I look at some girl on Instagram and I'm like, why don't I look like that? I have a lot to do today. I have brand deals, a virtual meet and greet with some fans. It's just gonna be a really busy day. Hello? Thank you for being here. I have always had a really close relationship with my fans, so staying connected with them is one of my top priorities. Maya, you're the first person on my screen. How do you feel when fans tell you that you're an inspiration for them? Oh my God, we're getting deep right off the bat. Um, <laughs> It's it's really awesome. It's it's a little scary, if I'm being honest. When you work a normal job, you answer to your boss. When you work a job where you have fans, they're your boss. You started social media when you were 13, right? What is something you could tell your 13-year-old self? I would say strap up. <laughs> like it's gonna be a lot longer than you thought it was gonna last. It's basically been my entire childhood. I never went to high school and I never did normal kid things. So all I know is like work and make people happy. Everything I experienced is kind of warped in a weird way. I've never experienced prom, but I've done red carpets. Like I can't name the last time that I just stayed in bed and was like, whatever. But I never wanna be that person that's like, Ugh. Everything sucks, my life is so hard. No, um, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I definitely come across as someone who's got it all together, which isn't necessarily always true. I mean, I never lie about anything. There's just certain parts of me that I don't share. I really enjoy talking to y'all, so thank you. I will let you go. With a job like mine, there is no normal work day, and it's always a struggle to sneak in a few minutes to hang out with my best friend, Brooke. How was your day? It was okay. I don't know, I just have a lot to do. You overwork yourself. Even when you say you're gonna have an off day, you don't have an off day. Okay. I feel like that comes from you being on social media since you were 13. Yeah. That's like how you grew up, so you're constantly like, oh, what can I do better, even if you're just taking a bath. <laughs> like, you don't, you don't relax. I know. Brooke sees the world through rose-colored lenses, and I'm very realistic. I haven't posted in like four hours, and mm -hmm. I'm really stressed right now. I feel guilty when I clean my house because I have to take that time away from the world. I feel like sometimes I missed out on that moment of being a kid because I'm up at six o'clock in the morning putting 10 pounds of hair in my head every day. And I thought it would get better the older that I got, but I think the older I get, the more pressure there is mm -hmm. to be perfect. Oh, I don't like crying? talking about things. Oh. I don't like crying on camera. <laughs> I'm like a 
24-hour reality show, and that has to be interesting enough and entertaining enough. And that's not what it is. I'm overwhelmed, and I think that I need to change something. You definitely have to put you first. Or I think genuinely, one day you're just gonna snap. Yeah. I just want my fans to know that as a creator, sometimes there's this pressure to be happy all the time, but it's just not realistic. It's okay to not be perfect, and more important to just stay true to who you are. Whenever life feels overwhelming, find someone that you trust and sit down and talk it out. People have this idea of me and I always feel like if I'm not meeting their expectations, I'm letting everyone down. I don't really particularly love tight clothes all the time. I always try to get you to be more sexy. How do you feel when Lauren sees Lauren? Maybe I shouldn't share my experiences and maybe this is too much. You opening up could do a lot of good. I think I'm ready. I'm stepping outside my comfort zone and doing things that I wouldn't typically do. I think I need therapy. And I'm still a work in progress. Yeah, Woo! Woo! I have to be okay with just being me.